What up? <clears throat> Excuse me. So we set that. All right. I wonder, I like those cards. How is it going? What up, cheese? Also, what up, Doge? But for the good luck. Appreciate the good luck. Um. If you were here earlier, you already know that today's been a day. Doing better. Oh, oddly enough, also, how's it going, War? Uh, oddly enough, somehow me going falling asleep made things worse. Um, I'm gonna be honest there. Um, Kind of just is what it is, I guess. What am I doing? Let me do my commissions. I think that's the first thing. I'm going to try to get a lot of stuff wrapped up. Like, really quickly. Um. So, if you were here for Dead by Daylight earlier, you probably know stuff that happened. Uh. And that is what it is. And then afterwards, I was like, you know what? I'm like, I'm going to just take a nap. I'm going to rest and hopefully things get better. And somehow, did legitimately make things worse. Um, it's not even like, you know, oh, I slept wrong or something like that. No, I just like, had a weird dream. And the dream definitely like... did not help is the best way to put it it really didn't so as a result i just said fuck it maybe i should try to uh you know just relax and such and try to to rest and then other things happen that made things worse it's just been a bad day today it's just been a bad day today um which then leads to right now, where I was like, okay, do I want to stream today or tonight? If so, like, what do I want to stream? Is there something I should stream? Because, and I knew, I'm going to be honest, I knew full, full well that if I tried to stream Buried Stars, that was a terrible idea. Purely because I was already in, like, a pretty piss-poor mood. So if I streamed Buried Stars and tried to react to that, like, I would already be filled with, like, anguish, probably. So I was like, okay, we're not going to stream Buried Stars today. And then, uh... Skyward Sword's still on the table for potential. I just knew that... I needed to stream Genshin, because I haven't played Genshin at all today. And I knew that I needed to at least start the event. And then that was it. So I've thought through a little bit today. And, uh, yeah. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I just know for sure that Buried Star is not happening tonight. Um, and probably not tomorrow. I don't know, my, my whole plans for tonight got, like, moved around and stuff, and... It's just been one hell of a day. Let's just just put it bluntly. It's been one hell of a day. Um, it's also pouring outside. I was not expecting to wake up to just a torrential downpour. But I, I mean, you know, things happen. 
that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure why we're getting a bunch of rain right now. I want my honesty, like, I'm very, very confused why, like, it's very, like, medium such outside right now. It gets really bad, so. Also, I just realized that Toma and Lisa together are surprisingly very strong. Try not to... Feel this ancient power. Burst forth. It's like normal British weather. See, I live in a desert though. So it's not supposed to be like that at all. Bet you can't keep up with me. You're in for a little shock. No escape. Why just super weird? Witness my great undertaking. I mean, I prefer the rain, don't get me wrong. I love the rain. It's just really odd, you know? Really, really odd. Um, also, you might be noticing I'm not playing as Ningguang right now. Uh, I did get Ningguang's... I don't know if that happened last stream or the stream before. Uh, but I got Ning Wong's banner stuff. So, we're just playing as these clowns right now. The one's at nine. So we're doing pretty good. But yeah, main main goal today, like, my half my brain was like, oh, maybe we could explore in uh, Genshin today. Nah. <laughs> it's definitely like a nah. I'm just going to get both events done. Uh, there is an event that we already started, right? There's Albedo's event that's still going on. Uh, but... Yeah. So if we check this, we have three days, and I still have to beat the Fellflower thing, like, a few times. So, there's that. But there's also the other event, so we're gonna get the other event started right now. But you have to start by talking with her! Hello, Traveler. You couldn't have come in a better time. What up? Oop, I just hit my mic. Sorry. Oh, Paimon knows what, when there's, where this one's going. Let me guess. Next, you'll say. I'm an expected experienced adventurer. It is as you say. We do have a new commission that may suit you. Baton Sango Detective Agency is in need of manpower, and they requested your help specifically in investigating the large-scale disappearance of, oh my gosh, eh, just a couple of small animals. Sure. Oh, come on. You share the simple needs... Uh, our glorious Volica to stop, step forward? Sure, fix carts the past two. We've done a lot of stuff. Actually, isn't Baton Sango that detective agency? Why would they need to hire adventurers? Well, here's the situation. Sango's requested a highly experienced adventurer accompany Ryuji on some investigations. Additionally, let's me see. Sango requested I say this. Many people have had their pets disappear, which has seen many commissions come over, uh, come our way in one go. If this matter can be resolved, a generous bounty shall be guaranteed. A generous bounty, she says. Hmm, you know what, Velika? Paimon thinks these poor, poor animals deserve to be rescued. And anyway, commission is great and small, small are all avenues for self-improvement, aren't they? You're so easily led, Paimon. Whatever, let's go look for Sango. Paimon just wants all the money. Baton Sango Detective Agency. It's weird how kind of important these guys are, huh? Hello, Baton Sango. Pretty good. You arrived more quickly than I thought. Of course, you came running the moment we heard about the gen- I mean, the missing animals. Alright, then what's the issue? Never appear? Paimon and Volica are here. Come on, we both know who's gonna do all the work. I'm not sure for you. That counts for something, right? Nope. Uh, energetic as always. Well then, here's the issue. We've received a ton of commissions lately concerning lost animals. To the effect we're, that we should find them, of course. <laughs> They're mostly pets of some kind, which means that they really shouldn't have run off by themselves. Inazuma does have its fair share of strange tales, but everything happens for a reason, and there's nothing that cannot be solved by through logic. Our unseen investigations have borne this axiom out. Wait, does that mean my unseen investigations? Eh, looks like Pamon's gonna have to cheer you on too. What? Thanks for the offer, but it's fine. I've been on the trail of the missing animals these past few days, and I wound up discovering some encampments on the wild. Some of them were guarded by monsters. No big deal, really. 
However, just as I was attempting to release some of the trapped animals in one of the camps, it was taken out by a dark shadow that was suddenly appeared. When I woke up, the camp was empty as a grave. It's not a good look for our Ryuji, eh? Uh, whatever happened to the Ryuji roared like a wicked Oni Horichio himself as he defe defeated the perpetrator on the Sanbogatan Kinpachi incident. Why? And then he held me fast as I feigned death crying out. Wait, stop. Stop, I say. I'm very confused, but just happened there but okay what we'll on what happened next let's sell the issue on hand first shall we whatever the case we have patan sango require the aid of an adroit adventurer such as yourself to help save these animals as long as you're there we have eyewitness even if ryuji gets knocked out again uh sango so why don't you go yourself again uh don't forget i'm the brains of the party here that's my job using my brain as far as i'm concerned my flesh is all but an accessory to my mind oh she's lazy and consistently so too of course you won't be working for free you'll be paid just as we agreed that's why Palmon likes to hear. Come on, let's go. High speed blue drag. One moment, if you will. Please take this with you. Oh, uh, sorry, what is this thing again? This is a ubiquity net. I had a friend made this based on records of Kamuna on Miyoto. It's not strong enough to capture criminals, no, but with little aim, it should have no problem catching small animals. With this, bringing the missions and missing animals back should be a breeze. Ooh, we easy peasy. Thanks, Sango. You're the best. I couldn't call that being the best. Consider this more an insurance policy to avoid failure instead. Yuji, go along with them, would you? Certainly. I've discovered some more traces of missing animals. Follow me. But here we go. No problem. Bye, Sango. Let's go investigate animals. We got this net. This ubiquity net. Um, which, I mean, I don't think it's going to be hard. I've been told very little about this event from people I've asked. All I know is that... There is one thing that will probably fuck me up. Hello, Tanuki. Goodbye, Tanuki. Going to our current investigations. This should be the place. Oh, there really are a ton of little criddles here. Did they all go missing? And this is a dog? There's a dog guarding this place. Oh, so that's how it was. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Excuse me. And what are you embarrassed about, Ryuji? This dog is the dark shadow that took me out on one go. It might be a door. Uh, so you kind of suck that in, Ryuji? Hey, the dog is just too strong. That's all. Pema doubts she'd win either, you know? Still, that uptight stance and that high flown pride. Oh, doesn't that remind you of someone? Right, Kamori Tsi houses. Exactly. Pema thought about him too. We were even originally thought he could speak. Shame, though, he really couldn't. You speak of Kamori Tsi house's owner? You know of him, Ryuji? Somewhat. They do look similar, to be sure. We shouldn't drop our guard. Tamaru is known to be friendly due to his many dealings with humans, but as far as this dog, we don't know anything about it. As such, I advise caution. Mm, point taken, Ryuji. I reminded one of my cats. I think she's made a friend's a husky in context she's howling to go out, given she's been out. The answer is no. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> my cat just loves to try to sneak out. She's experienced talking, that's all. Still, why would this dog gather all these animals and stand guard over this place? Pima doesn't get it. We need, may need more leads to figure this out. For now, let's focus on saving these animals. Their owners are starting to panic. This is where you come in, Bullica. I'll handle what comes after you find the animals. I will ensure that they're taken home as soon as possible. Not going to team up and attack? Do not yet know if this foe could be beaten with a team attack. Actually, do you have any experience in stealth? Uh, we detail certain government fish back at retail. That must have been an interesting experience. Nonetheless, we should be able to rescue the animals if we can safely avoid the guard. I plan some objects that can attract its attention. I hope that they will be of use for you. All right, then let's do this. I'll stand guard here. So is this a stealth mission? Save the small animals. Get near the activation point to start the place of interest hiding spot challenge. If you leave the challenge before completing it, your challenge progress will be saved. If you enter a place of interest hiding spot with your victory net equipped, you use it to replace your elemental skill with the capture ability. Hold the skill to uh, hold the skill to aim. Hit the mark small animals in the place of interest hiding spot with the skill. To twist them away. Excuse me. Small animals awaiting rescue will be scattered in different locations within the place of interest hiding spot. It is recommended that you observe and confirm their positions first before acting. The animals awaiting rescue have already been marked, and the symbol will automatically change when they are within capture range of the ubiquity net. Patrolling canine Bushin are very capable combatants. Engaging them may not be the wisest option. Observe the line of sight of the canine Bushin carefully and avoid stepping into it lest you be discovered. If you fail to evade sight, you will be attacked. If you hit a canine Bushin with the ubiquity net in place of interest hiding spot, you can cause it to be unable to act for a short amount of time. There are smoke machines laid out within the place of interest hiding spot that can be activated by touching or attacking them. Once activated, you can hide yourself within the smoke to prevent the canine Bushin from detecting you. When you attack by canine Bushin, you may use the smoke machines to avoid further pursuit. 
There are fireworks laid out within the place of interest hiding spot that can be activated by touching or attacking them. Once activated, they will attract the canine Bushin's attention. Okay. So there's multiple dogs. And there are three animals that need to be saved. Okay. Well, something tells me that all I need to do is let's switch to the let's switch to OP team. Uh, okay. Hmm. Alright. So you literally have to... Wow. Hmm, Klee, I, something tells me that you're not going to be the best one. Let's, let's switch over to Amber. Why have you have not been detected at all? What? Got it. So it's okay, so that's what it is. Okay. So essentially this whole admission is just go from place to place, try to find the animals, save the animals, and stealth. So it's not not like the most difficult thing. So last one's probably over here then. Why is this? Why do these dogs just want to hurt me, though? Got it. Okay, so that that's a weird event. Also, those dogs definitely can hurt. I was not expecting that. Honestly? Alright, Ryuji, what's going on? Why are these dogs killing us? Very impressive, really. Do, do you have some spectacular moves? Yeah, piece of cake for a Volica, don't you know? Well then, on to our next target. Wait, there's more? There's more. If the number of commissions Sangha received is no exaggeration, this must be the biggest disappearance of small animals in Inazuma's history. I say this, but even without history as our judge, having this many small animals disappear at once is simply abnormal. I did follow the trails I detected other areas, and I found trapped animals there too. Stealth required? Not this time. The opponents there should be no match for your skills. You'll know when you get there. Head to the other investigation site. Okay. So there's like a combat arena one, and then there's just a regular one. Oh, Razor should probably get some some heals though, don't don't you think? Dude's a little worse for wear right now. 
weirdly enough, Amber might actually be the good one to use. So there's some that you have to fight. Oh yeah, it's just treasure hoarders. Easy stuff. Where is the Klee? Klee is here. Okay. Small animals are imprisoned within a place of interest and of thieves. Must defeat the surrounding opponents first before opening the cages, coming to the rescue. That's easy. What? More? Yeah, no, these guys are a piece of cake. Give me some heals, please. Yeah, no, this, so this mission is just going from place to place doing brief things. Good to know. Animal one saved and animal two. This is this is a piece of cake. Okay. Thank you very much. You've been a big help. Right, Volk is the strongest there is. Does the number of animals tally up now? One moment, huh? There's still some missing. Huh? But how? I've hardly considered this a loss. We weren't taken out by, by our black shadow, and we managed to get a number of animals back. As such, our investigation is making progress. We're just at, out of leads for the time being. Let me tell you what, I'll keep investigating. You keep doing what you usually do for a while. Let's meet up at Baton Sango Detective Agency when something new comes up. Well, it's not as if we got any better options. True. So pretty much, then details. So we save and save. Oh, and then there's more. Locked after one day, after three days. Oh, so that's really what it okay. Well <laughs> I was I was expecting like, oh you have to do this at X amount of times, but really what it just comes down to is you just talk to Ryuji, Ryuji gives you like the full list of stuff that needs to be done. Got it. So I'm not like I, I think I'm gonna wait to the end of the event before I like do anything regarding it. Purely because, like, I we don't need to... Oh my gosh, what is going on? I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna, like, probably hold off before we do this. Because literally it's just, we do more and more. And I think it's better to do them all in, like, one fell swoop compared to just little ones. I thought this was like, oh, here's, like, little places that you have to go to finish. And apparently that's not the case, so... Excuse me. Um, that being said, what do I even need to do right now? Defeat boss opponents, domain challenges. Oh, I haven't done any domain challenges? Well, let's fix that. Where is my list? Um, we go over here. Uh, who do I use over here? I used somebody. Was it Klee? I think I used Klee for this. Because I think... No. Uh, yeah, I think it's Klee. Good old Klee doing Klee things. So, okay. Well, that was really short of an event. We'll probably do more of it, like I said, later. It's just... We don't need to do all of it right now. Plus, I'm more concerned about doing the rest of Albedo's event. Because I've I've been definitely slacking on defeating the Fellflower. I'm going to speed it with other people, but not right now. Hello. But, I mean, this is just another... I, I'm going to be honest, this is just another example of 2.3 being very much a... Honestly, just kind of like a, a boring... Uh, 
a boring thing. If I'm being real. Like, it's definitely a very, very boring uh, update. And I'm not super happy about it, if I'm being real. Like, once again, it was cool for a little bit that we got, like, Albedo and his events and everything. But then, you know, it definitely just kind of... Feel this ancient power. It definitely just kind of wore out my patience. So. Which sucks, because, like, Genshin always has, like, a lot of cool things that it, that it can get have going for it. And then, like, you know, something like this happens and it's just, oh, okay, well, it's all over. Also, these guys... I think I need to switch to having a healer of some kind. Because otherwise, Klee is going to get rocked. Absolutely rocked. Um, what is this? Thundering Fury? Need. I do need that one, though. Cool. Because we got a flower for Lisa! Sweet. Lisa gets a flower. Yeah, it's just it's just another lackluster event. And I I'm not here for it, I'm gonna be real. Like <clears throat> 2.3 has just been very much just kind of a letdown if I'm being real. We'll need a strategy. But you know. Them's the rope sometimes. Them's the rope. Well, this is not going to last too much longer, I will say. Because at least with, uh... With Genshin for right now, like, all I'm going to do is just a little, a few things. And then I'll just kind of move on to whatever next I have planned. It's good that, like, these Genshin streams at least have been short. But it's at the same time, like, why... I mean, there's other things I could do. Obviously, I could just explore Genshin for right now, because there's still stuff there that I'm missing. Like, there's still Surumi Island to explore, and I haven't done that. But, I mean, realistically, I think I'm just going to, uh... I think, realistically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use up the rest of my resin, as per usual. And then, with that, I'm going to uh, go and yeah. I think I'm just gonna like beat the f do, use up my resin, use the fell flower stuff, because the fell flower stuff is not like once again crazy or anything. It's just, we're just gonna have to use the same team over and over again, and that's the entire gist of the event. And then we'll play something far more interesting. That's not Dead by Daylight. Because like I said, I'm taking a bit of a break. See, why were you not aiming at the proper person? Whatever. Potential good feather, attacking crit damage, not a good feather. And this is an hourglass with elemental mastery, not recharge. Don't need it. Time to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, man, I just, there hasn't been just anything interesting going on in Genshin lately. If I'm going to be blunt about it, like, there really hasn't been too much interesting going on in this game. The only thing that's interesting was Albedo's event. And I loved Albedo's event, and I loved, like, the implicit lore that we've been getting. It's just... Like, where else is... Is there anything else? 
I'm like, I'm waiting for like something big. Like, and keep in mind, the Inaz Inazuma chapters themselves have been super good. Like, I love the story in Inazuma. Inazuma has some amazing story stuff. It just it feels like there's nothing else. And that's the thing that frustrates me, is just like, oh yeah, we're in Inazuma, we're trying to do all this stuff, and we're really not getting either. Also, these Electro Seers and Mages are annoying. I should, like, there's other achievements and such I know I could do. There's the Hangout events. I just don't have any motivation to do them, like, right now. I'm trying to, like, make each uh, thing just its own, is the best way to put it. Um, This is Thundering Fury, so that's not what I'm looking for. Damn. That's some interesting stuff, though. Definitely some interesting things. It's just, it's weird that a lot of this game lately has just been a grind fest. Nothing more than a grind fest. I mean, I'm going, I'm getting a lot of, uh, artifacts, which is good. But once I'm out of artifacts, like, the next thing I'm going to have to worry about is, uh, gosh, what's after the artifacts? Then I'd have to worry about weapons. And then it's gonna be talents, and then it goes from there. It's like, okay. Guess that's what we're doing. But we've had over a hundred streams of this game, so you'd think I'd do more. Um That's one down. The plus side is at least Klee does a lot of damage, but I feel like Klee should be able to do a lot more damage. Well, that blows. Uh, Kokomi can take this out. No problem. Easy. Piece of cake. Oh yeah, the Game Awards happened earlier. Good old Jensen Impact or something like that. I heard somebody really fucked up a uh, the pronunciation of Genshin. I guess Genshin won Best Mobile Game uh, 2021, which is awesome. It's like, I would say definitely deserved. But, but I guess the, the, the person who announced it, I don't know who it was because I didn't watch the Game Awards this year. Something was telling me. I'm gonna, that's something I wanted to talk about. Durr, kids, come on. I, I wanted to watch more of the Game Awards this year. Like, last year I watched the game- like, last two years I watched the Game Awards, like, front, like beginning to end. Because I was absolutely, like, interested in. And for some reason, like, this year, just- I didn't feel like there was going to be anything interesting talked about. Like, I don't know what it was, but it felt like there was going to be no interesting games. That they were going to talk about. It just felt like it was going to be uh, just kind of like a, a lame sort of thing that's going on. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, here's the awards. Like, cool for the awards, awesome. Uh, and then people are going to be upset about who won stuff. No, I actually wanted to check to see what what won Game of the Year. I was hoping it was gonna be like Deathloop or something, because like I felt like Deathloop would have deserved it. But 
Not entirely sure. I just, uh, like, it takes two. It takes two, really? One? Huh. That's pretty cool. That's what I'm up. Like, I think the big thing, uh... <clears throat> And that's actually kind of a shock, but that's that's fair. I've heard it's a really good game. I've heard it's super good. Uh I think the thing I'm excited though is P4U. P4AU is coming to PC, dude. P4AU. Sorry, I'm I'm excited for it. <laughs> I have it for 360, but if I can get it on a uh, PC, I'm set. In a map place? Yo, same. Welcome to the club. I don't think anything else like caught my interest. Oh, there was like the Silent Hill looking thing. Splittergate or something? Is that what it was? There's something that looks Silent Hill, and all I heard was a name called Splittergate. Um, um, main challenge cook 20 dishes and forge stuff I haven't really been doing any of that lately uh, where's the Matsutake meat rolls there they are Took like 25 of them. And I'll probably look up and see what uh, what interesting things were talked about at the Game Awards. It's just like, I don't know. Nothing, nothing really seemed to catch my eye. I mean, there was like, I think they showed off some, some stuff about Saints Row, the new one. But other than that, like. For cubes that only me, but I use multiple times. And I can't really help you there. No, literally nothing about it. Um. Okay. So how did I want to do this? So I think the way I wanted to do this is we do Albedo field research and switch back to him. Purely because I want to fight the dog thing a few times. We're going to fight this twice and then fight the other person. Maybe we should be good. Oh yeah, I was going to need, I need to use Ganyu. That's right. What are my orders? I got to fight this thing a few times before uh, people show up. So. Buddy, buddy. Well, in Wolf Lord. And then we'll be OP squad and finish up the rest of Alvedo's events, and then we'll figure out where we're going from there. I have uh, no recommendations, if I'm being real. Because I don't know shit about that stuff. I like how with that tornado move, this thing just really fucks itself up. Now we're using the shield. So I wanted to see how Albedo did with this. Burst forth. No touching. Hmm. Live. Literally, it's just going to be placing down a flower multiple times. Burst forth. Ooh. 
I'm trying to get more into fighting games, honestly. So I'm admittedly pretty excited. Am corrosion. Well, I'm looking forward, I'm going to be hopefully streaming some fighting games relatively soon. Like, I wanted to always get into fighting games. We played Skullgirls, like, eons ago. But I really wanted to go and play some other ones. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Now, let's switch to Team OP. Take those guys down. You're trembling. Yeah, I wanted to go through like all the Tekken games, the Soul Blade Calibus. games, or Soul Calibur games. Uh, I have Undernight Inbirth that I want to play. Uh, obviously, we can't play P4U until you beat P4G, so that way I don't spoil people on like the entire game. <clears throat> Dude, you guys have no idea how I'm excited, how excited I am for uh, the whole thing of uh, playing P4. It's gonna be a fun time. Is that what Split Gate was? The one with the Grim Reaper? I don't know. I know something like Silent Hills based, and people. Like my my uh, Twitter was like, oh my gosh, is PT real? Split Gate. Yeah. Oh, we were, yo, uh, Jigsaw and I were talking about that in the past, because I wanted to play some more Fire Emblem games, because we still have to pit three, I haven't finished three houses. Wow, I am really dumb. Embrace the <laughs> so many games to get through. Maybe we do choose Skyward Sword tonight. Even though I'm definitely, like, Not every wound will heal. Oh, it's probably the other one then, right? Probably, uh... It's the other, the other one for GameCube. Path of Radiance is probably what it was. Yeah. You good work. There's, th listen, there's Radiance involved somewhere, right? Embrace your searing reckoning. Uh, aren't you going to turn into your... Me a witch. Those games can get very, very expensive, that's for sure. Alright, let's uh, heal Razor back up. Embrace your searing reckoning. Not every wound will heal. Boom. Got it. Easy. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. 
Now we switch it to the other squad, and then do the other thing, and then we, uh... Actually, I'm gonna stick with this squad, and then we'll fight the Fellflower a few times. Awakening copy? I found my Fates copy the other day. I wish I could find my Awakening copy, because I wanted to stream Awakening. What I found, is it right here? I think I found Birthright. Yeah. I mean, all, all three are on that one, but still. How are you not... Except for Cuphead? I didn't hear anything about Cuphead. What about it? Like I said, I pretty much woke up at the end of the Game Awards. So, like, I just got secondhand information from Twitter. And people, like, freaking out over some things. And I was just kind of like, yeah, it's cool. Uh, I don't think anyone really talked about Cuphead, though. Being DLC map stuff? Ooh, that was fun. Oh, it's the long awaited DLC. Okay, got it. It's that long awaited DLC. It's literally the DLC that we've been waiting for, like, fucking years for. Um. That's cool, though. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, I will play it, and there probably will be hot wings and such involved. Uh, if this is any indication. Alright, I have to defeat the guys that show up from their freaking thing here. I gotta wait for second dudes thing. Oh, you have a digital awakening copy? I got a physical one. Alright, might. I need you to please drop your fruit. Are you up there? There we go. I have echoes and physical. Yeah, I have echoes as well. I've never played echoes, and then I have uh, the other one, oh, Birthright Conquest. Wait. Are you the one that's gonna summon a thing? Thank you. <clears throat> We go dead. Yeah. Alright, well this guy's now screwed. Allow me. This guy is not that hard to fight. All I have to do is defeat one of his another one of his things, so. Took me two minutes, that's fine. By the roots. Delta coup de gras. Love that word. Oh, this weekend, so you just get a copy from my life line. Nice. Alright, now I gotta wait again. I'll have to do defeat one more slime that it spawns. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shit. Am I going to be able to get it to that one in time? Yes. Alright, cool. Yeah, like I said, I was supposed to fight this thing with friends and such, and I just decided, nah, I'll just worry about it later. I'll just deal with it on my own. Summoning the balls of doom again. And then it's gonna summon that one, and that one summons enemy. That's all we gotta worry about. Oh, 
And shield down. Let's go, dude. Piece of cake. There's just so many games I gotta get through at this rate. You know, I... Hmm. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Actually, I should have done that. Today. Damn, dude. You know when you realize that you should have done something today and you just, you never did? Wow, 222 again. Interesting. Uh... Well, all right. Well, I think that's going to be that for Genshin because, like I said, I have no interest right now in doing more exploration of Surumi. Surumi Island just bores me to tears. But okay, well, I got the Alkaheis. That was more the important thing. Uh, I didn't want that. I actually wanted freedom, or sorry, resistance. Guide to below. So what? 480... 600. So it wants me to beat this Fellflower thing twice more, which I don't really care about. Okay. So. Um... I think I know what my plan is right now. Man, I hate doing short streams. Uh, well, okay. There's something I could do. No, I don't want to do that. Brain is on. Okay, so while I'm wrapping up all my resin use and everything, let's. I'm gonna talk about something real quick because I don't think I've mentioned this on stream. Uh. There's a few people who are aware of it, but, uh, Next on the agenda. you know, haven't really said it on stream fully. So, it has been confirmed for me, work-wise, this is a work whole thing, how it affects streaming, is I will be going, hey Cora, how's it going? Uh, I will be doing things for work. I will be traveling for work more than likely sometime in January. Um, if you guys remember my update video on YouTube, like way back when, I talked about the fact that I was told that I was going to be traveling probably sometime in the future, and that, you know, it was going to be some long-ass shifts, and I would not be able to stream during those times, because one, I would be away from my computer, but also too, I'd be doing about, uh, from what they told me this time, it's 18 to 20 hour shifts, which you may be like, that sounds hellish. And to me, it's like, that is money right there. Um, so I got told though, this, uh, uh, it was more, I think it was yesterday, actually. It was on, uh, Wednesday. I got told on Wednesday that I will be... I should be going traveling for at least a week in January. Uh, which I'm super excited for, and the event's gonna be dope. But that means, of course, that I'm gonna have no streams for an entire week. And they said potentially even two weeks. Which, uh, means I really need to figure out how to move my... PlayStation, Genshin stuff to mobile, so that way I can do that while I'm gone. Um, I still plan on covering, like, if there's any Genshin events or anything going on, I still plan on covering them, like, right off the bat. And if I do have some downtime, like, I may try to stream through, like, maybe, uh, like, hotel Wi-Fi or something. We'll see. But... I wanted to let you guys know that that is happening. That being said, I was supposed to spend most of today 
recording stuff for like let's plays and all that sort of stuff to get uploaded and i didn't do that because i forgot so that's fun so i'm kind of debating what i should do right now because obviously i've been working on like i've been kicking ass with getting bods up like that's been super super good uh like honestly I'm I'm glad that I've been getting through a lot of the VODs. But I now need to uh very much figure out what to do regarding uh content while I'm gone. Which I, I do know what I need to do, so I need to record like a bunch of stuff like I said. Um one, two, three, four, five. Well Beto's one that could be here. Oh, and I need to I'm gonna do some math here in a little bit. I'm thinking I should just kind of record a lot of that stuff tonight, honestly. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, I want to grab this. So I need to grab some specific things. Silk flowers. Strawberries, chicken chilies, and anything bar based. Yeah. If you ever have boom. Okay, real quick, how many characters still need to one? You're not on there, so two, three, four. Five. Six. Holy shit, there's only six characters left for friendship level ten. Am I am I literally so close to being done with friendship levels? I'm actually close to being done with friendship levels. That's admittedly super surprising. Um Wow. Okay. Well then, obviously Ito and Goro are going to be released, so I'm going to have to get their friendship levels up. But other than that, like, we are almost set. I can just start using whichever teams people want me to use. Dude, that's kick-ass. Alright, alright. So what are we looking at then most? Yeah, you're still doing that stuff. Well, Beto's almost level 10. Toma, I still need some artifacts for you. The only one who's really far behind is Kujo Sara, isn't she? Yeah, 8. So, wow, we are almost done with all friendship levels. That is sick. Obviously, I still gotta worry about getting, you know... Getting all the, the stuff for, like, all the artifacts and whatnot. That's still pretty damn cool that we're almost done. Sweet. Paimon thinks it's time for a survey. And there's, so there's an event going on that features Artaki Ito. Uh, I'm not really too much worried about it. Okay. Well. Damn. Uh down to the wire of things huh still behind on achievements though what are my friends looking like by the way still only 59 he goes back to school being online a day ago seven days ago blogs yeah i love the fact how sun is still hasn't played since gani release higher level than so many people it's kind of funny So where where am I at with name cards? Four, five, six, and then these two are the last two. Oro and Ito. 
There's literally, so technically there's only two lines left if you combine all of them together. There are two lines left of nameplates. It's kind of sick, honestly. Um, so I'm going to need to get a lot of other stuff done. Okay, so Genshin-wise, right? That's all I wanted to do for Genshin today, is just start the event, do my daily stuff as usual, kind of go from there. But realistically, I need to really start kicking some ass in Genshin, right? I don't feel motivated right now to actually do like the exploration of Surumi Island and some of the other achievements. But I think we're going to be going back to that whole thing next time I stream this. I'm going to say probably Saturday. Where we're going to do hangout events. And... Yeah, we'll do hangout events on Saturday. And then try to get some other achievements and maybe do some more exploring of Surumi Island. And get some of the stuff done there. I'll, I'll make my list of like what achievements I need and so on and so forth. Uh... Like I said, the only reason that I haven't been super willing to put in a lot of effort in Genshin lately, like on stream, is because 2.2 and 2.3, the both updates, have been really big letdowns, admittedly, in the terms of just content and just, like, lore-based stuff. it just kind of been filler. I'm not the happiest about it, but it is what it is. And, like, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, yeah, I just... I've been, like, kind of losing motivation on, for, like, what is it called? Losing motivation of exploring. Also, we're going to do a walk. We're going to do a little walk and talk, as, as I did with uh, Mondstadt to, to Liwa. I'll just do one for Inazuma real quick. Um, <clears throat> so, when it comes to Genshin... Obviously, I want to continue going through with Genshin and, like, getting all the achievements and, and such and doing all the fishing. It's just been, like... Like I said, these past two updates have just not been interesting at all. And since they haven't been interesting, like... <laughs> I've not had that much motivation to play longer than an hour every single time. So, because of that... Like, that's why I've been, like, ending off Genshin really early. Similar to, like, WarioWare, I guess. But hopefully we... Hopefully that this is, like, kind of almost the end of it. So that way we can kind of focus on all that sort of stuff. Um, That being said... <clears throat> God, my throat is killing me. What time is it right now? It's 12. Let me check. I have to check something super super fast um no proximity get there dude the rain fucked up everything i'm surprised i'm even able to stream right now wow like there's nothing my phone's like not working at all So how long does it take? It's it takes me an hour. Only ten more left. <laughs> Still, ten more is better than no more. I'm just doing some quick mental math here. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I was just doing mental math because figuring out how to drive is a great thing okay so tomorrow i work pretty much the entire afternoon plus i also want to get some food before i go to work tomorrow so my idea for right now is i'm probably gonna end off the stream i know it's gonna be super short but here is my plan i'm gonna get the rest of the vods done that i have uploaded already or like rendered, I'm going to get them all up tonight and Sayu's voice lines. Before I go to sleep, I'm going to finish. I'm going to do another recording for voice lines, get that done. And I'm going to record, hopefully, the first uh, like chunk of 
like let's play content that I want to do for uh, starting on the 15th. Because the 15th is when I plan to start doing, hopefully, uh, some Let's Play Source stuff. Then, tomorrow, I'm going to wake up, hopefully early, since I slept the majority of today. I'm going to wake up early, and we're going to go through Skyward Sword. Probably till about, I would say about 1 o'clock my time, 1 p.m. So we're looking at, I'm hopefully going to wake up at like... I'm gonna hopefully wake up at about like eight or so. I'm gonna grab these real quick. Uh, I'm gonna try to wake up at like around eight my time. And that way, all that ends up happening is wake up, get ready for the day, go and uh, start streaming Skyward Sword and we'll just stream hopefully like three to four hours of Skyward Sword. And then I will go to work and then we'll do another stream that night uh hopefully because both for friday and saturday i have two really long shifts so we'll and they're they're like kind of right in the middle of the day so we'll, we'll play it by ear but i'm gonna guarantee skyward sword tomorrow i'm gonna wake up early just jump into skyward sword get it moving we're going to get it all taken care of. That being said, I'm still going to do a little bit of Genshin because I still want to get a lot of stuff completed in Genshin and, you know, taking time and whatnot. And because uh, we still even have some side quests that I haven't even done. And I'm going to put Dead by Daylight on a little bit of a hiatus. You can probably guess why. And I, that's that's going to be the goal is I'm going to get rolling on a bunch of things. I'm still wide awake, but I need to work on the other stuff real fast so uh with that all being said i apologize for the short stream once again just as you guys probably saw from earlier today's just been a, a really shitty day for streaming uh in my opinion for my on my end but uh you know we'll be back in the full swing of things we'll do a four hour uh hopefully a four hour stream for skyward sword and then uh Hopefully we'll do something else uh, tomorrow night, too. But I'm going to get recording. I'm going to get stuff done. And go from there. So, with that being said, though, I thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, I apologize for kind of the randomness of today. But I hope you guys still enjoyed, at least Genshin. And uh, have a wonderful day and morning, afternoon, and or evening. Of course, my name is Katathi. I'll see you guys next time for some more Friday Gaming. See you guys later. Peace. Bye, everybody.